Alright, so today I decided I wanted to make everybody a video on how to put your B-World character into VR chat. The reason I wanted to do that was because it looks like all of the things that are out there right now are kind of out of date. VR chat did a little bit of an update, so some of the things that you're being told now are incorrect and you're using the wrong versions of certain things because technology. And if you're like me and you find a quote unquote easy tutorial and then you find out that it's not so easy because it's not up to date anymore, um, you might get a little So we're here to prevent that and we're going to go through everything nice and easy. So first things first, you're going to want this program called Unity. You may or may not have learned about it a little bit by messing around with Vvoid, uh, because if you want to do some special extra things, you sometimes have to use Unity. Maybe I'll make a tutorial about that at some point. Who knows? I don't really care. Anyway, so um, you're going to want to come to, if you don't have Unity already, um, you're going to want a specific version anyway, so it, it kind of doesn't matter. So you're going to come to Unity, and you can either type all this in, or you can just use, I'll put a link in the description, and you can just use that. But you're going to want a specific version. Now, previously, older uh, older tutorials tell you to use the 2018 version, but don't, don't do that, because uh, that is now out of date. So, uh, and it's no longer compatible with VR chat. So you're going to have to go to Unity 2019 over here. Scroll down to, you're going to want the 2019 or 29. And then um, you're going to want to get, if you're, just so you know, because I'm dumb and didn't realize that I had to click down, uh, you're going to want to click Unity Installer and then install it, you know, like a smart person. So do that. And then uh, download Unity. Okay, so next you're going to come to Booth, and you're going to get this cool thing that's like a VRM converter. VR chat. Now, if you've already messed with Unity a little bit, you kind of are probably familiar with the VRM converter, so you can put extra things onto your Vroid. But this one is specifically for VR chat, and it can do all the other things that the other one can do, where you import it and stuff like that. So this is kind of an all-in-one package for everything you could possibly want. Now, don't worry; uh, it's in Japanese, but you really don't need to understand it or read it. It's going to tell you down here the wrong date. Uh, don't even worry about that. It, it doesn't even it doesn't even matter. So go ahead and don't don't click that one. It's going to cost you money. So click the one at the top that says zero. Download that. You need that. Uh, otherwise, you won't be able to get this in the VR chat at all. So you need that. Okay. And then lastly, the websites that you're going to need. You're going to want to go to your VR chat account. If you don't have a VR chat account yet, you're going to want to get on that because you're going to need so many hours of play, so many visits, different things, so many friends. VR chat themselves won't tell us exactly what the requirements are, and that's obviously to keep griefers from finding out what those requirements are and speeding through them. I've seen some people be able to upload their own stuff in 20 hours, 30 hours. Uh, some people have been playing for weeks and don't know how to, can't upload anything yet. I personally met the requirements to get to my upload status in ten and a half hours. I, don't, I just messed. I literally just messed around in the game for a couple of days straight, and then you know VR Chat emailed me and was like, "Hey, cool." So just be aware that you need to have a certain status in the game before it will let you upload your own avatars. Uh, but once you can do that, um, go to your account on their website. And go over to where it says download in the corner over here and then go ahead and click that now you're going to come to this sdk page and if you aren't familiar with software and stuff like that sdk package is basically uh like an adapter for a program so if you are making something in a program this will adapt it so that you can transport the item into the other program obviously this is the one for vr chat you're not ignore 
the SDK2, that one's buggy as heck and out of date. They're replacing all of that in the game with the SDK3. So that's what we're going to do. You're not going to click worlds. You're going to click avatars because right now we're just dealing with the V-Roid aspect. So go ahead and click on avatars and download that. Okay, so obviously next you're going to go into your uh, downloads. And you're going to find Unity, and you're going to go ahead and double click on that and start up your install process. Download it down to wherever you need it and get that going. I'm not going to actually install it because obviously I already have it on the computer, but installing it's going to take a while. So uh, put on some headphones, listen to music, uh, play a little bit of uh, games on your Switch, whatever. It's going to take a couple of minutes, so strap in for that. Alright, so now that you've got Unity all set up, we're going to go ahead and open her up. Now, things, if you're already familiar with Unity, things are going to look a little bit different because this is an older version, so it's not going to automatically have that cool template to the Unity stuff, but that's okay. You just It's going to bring, it's going to bring you up to this, and you're just going to want to click on a New Unity Project, Select Folder, Let It Go. It's going to load everything. Uh, which will take a second yet again. Uh, so just, you know, strap in there for a minute while it loads everything like so. All right, so now that we have our new project here opened and all ready, we're going to right click right where it, um, down here underneath assets. And we're going to go into import package, custom package, and then we're going to go wherever you put the packages. I put them on my desktop so that I don't lose them. So first you're going to want to put in the SDK package before anything else. Otherwise, Unity is going to be like, I don't know what to do with this. So you're going to put in that first. All right, and then you just go ahead and let that load in. You're going to get this little window here uh, that gives us, you know, basically everything that it's adding into Unity. Just say import. You don't need to get up to all of that. So then uh, once everything is in there from the SDK package, you're going to have this little folder right here, and that lets you know that it was put in there properly. Next, you're going to want to do the exact same thing, import package, custom package, and now you're going to want to do the VRM converter for VR chat. And that, put that in. Same thing, you're going to get this little window, just click import, let it put everything in there. All right, so now that everything is in there, you should have these five little folders in here like this, which means that it should be working okay. Uh, usually a little pop-up window comes up, that lets you know that it's been configured to VR chat, but I can't find that anywhere else. So whatever. Uh, that happened the first time, but I guess it's not happening this time. But as long as it still works, that's all that matters. So next, you're going to want to go ahead and go up to where it says VRM0. You're going to do import. And then you're going to go to wherever it is that you keep your Vroid file. For me, I keep it in my Luppet. But I can use all of my characters, obviously. Open this. It's going to ask you to save as a prefab type. Just say, okay, it doesn't matter. So it's going to go ahead and import that. It's going to take a little minute because it has quite a bit to load in there. Okay, so now once you have everything in there, it should look something like this, uh, where you have your files from the packages and then also your files from the Vroid character that you put in. So take, go ahead in this little picture here. Uh, you can go ahead and pull it up and drop that and put it into the scene. This is how we're going to work with it. Don't ask questions about this particular model. My chat really loves this regime, and so I'm putting it in VR chat. Don't talk to me about it. You're going to go up to where it says VRM0 again, and you're going to go down to where it says duplicate and convert for VR chat. This is how we're going to get the different files into the VRM files basically combined in so that it is compatible with VR chat. So we're going to go ahead and do that. You're going to get this thing here. And it's going to say this Unity is running, and if it's using a different version than the one that it that the SDK might not work with, it, that's not true. It's going to work fine. Ignore that warning, okay? So duplicate and convert, save to wherever you want to save it, and let it go ahead and do its thing. Okay, and then it says converting is completed. Hit OK. Great. So now, as you can see over here, we have two different versions of the character. We're going to click on the one that says VR chat in parentheses. And then we're going to go over here 
Uh, and down here, we're going to, it might be closed for you here, but where it says VRC avatar descriptor script, we're going to go down to where it says view. We're going to look at position. So basically the position view is, we're going to move where we need this to be though. Okay. So the position view is basically camera is when you're in game. Uh, your point of view is this camera, and so we need to make this camera as accurate of a view to your character as to yourself. Basically, if you stick it in your chest, you're going to be looking at everything from chest height, and it's going to be weird. You want to obviously look where your character is looking. So we're going to try and find the little ball. It should be a little gray ball, so we're just going to mess with it till we can find it. So let's go with 1.2, and then maybe like... Point five. We're gonna leave that one there because that one usually keeps it in the center. Uh, let's see if we can find this ball now. There it is. You see it right here is the little ball. It's really subtle little gray ball, barely noticeable unless you're looking for it. So you really gotta pay attention. Now we're gonna have to bring it up into their face. So let's go ahead and play around with it some. So three brings it up higher, right? So we're going to go ahead and maybe seven. Seven looks kind of good. We're just going to keep playing with these numbers until they're where we like them. So then we're going to go ahead and play with this some more. Let's go with two, one. Go back to two. We got to make it a little bit higher, I think. So let's go with seven, five. And then one okay so that makes it like right in the center of the eyes like how we want it is good great our eyesight's going to be good we're going to see exactly where our character is supposed to see don't worry you can't actually see the ball when you go into the game so it's not like you're going to see a weird protrusion from your forehead like that it is so then we're going to go ahead and we're going to go to the vr chat sdk file and we're going to go to show control panel. And then here we're going to have to log into our account. So go ahead and log in your account, do your. Okay. So once you're logged in, then it should look like this. It shows, you know, that you're logged in and then your creator status. Hopefully it will tell you that you're allowed to publish avatars. If not, um, you got this far for nothing. Please go play the game some more. So then you're going to want to go to build it. Now here, it's going to tell you all the things that are wrong with your avatar. Today, we're not going over how to optimize your avatar, just how to get it into VR chat. So basically anything that isn't optimized for VR chat, VR chat's just going to like make your hair that's flexy, stiff as a board. You're going to look like um, one of those gross Barbie dolls that has plastic hair. And it's just, but that's fine. That's, that's all that matters is to get it in the game right now. That's what we're learning about. So we can go ahead and just say, you know, ignore all that and go to online publishing. We're going to build and publish for Windows. Uh, it's going to ask to save. So we're going to type in whatever we want. So this is my dumb made outfit. So we're just going to do made VR chat. Okay. And then save it. And then it's going to, it's going to do some thinking. All right. So when it's done, um, birding everything for a thousand years. You're gonna not need this window anymore, so you can just throw it wherever. It doesn't matter. And you're going to type in whatever you want this avatar to be named in game. So, like when people look at you, what are they gonna see this avatar be named as? So, we're just gonna do a maid Kiva because, except I can't type maid Kiva. There we go. And then if you want to put in a description, it's me in a dress. Great. Okay. So that's, that's that. And then um, if you have like a lot of gore or you're really strippy, you have just pasties on or something like that, you're going to want to put on some warnings on here so that the parental controls in the game work. Otherwise you're going to get uh, the boot. Okay. So go ahead and put on any of the needed warnings here. I'm just in a dress, so it doesn't matter. Uh, if you want other people to be able to use this avatar, you can go ahead and put it as public. If you don't want other people to use this avatar and have it just be you, uh, do private. And then you have to agree to the fact that you own this. This is a thing that you made. 
So then click that and then click upload and it's going to go ahead and put that into VR chat itself as the program. It's uploading everything that you need in there. So obviously when it's all done, it's going to sit here and tell you that the update is complete. So now we have to launch VR chat to see to make sure that it works. So let's go ahead and get into VR chat. All right. So now that we're in VR chat and uh, in my favorite world ever in VR chat, um, we are going to go into our avatars and now we can see uh, it's not a part of the avatars that you have down at the bottom, but it's going to be a uh, part of the my creation screen that you now have at the top. You're going to go ahead and click on that. Click on change into avatars like you would with a regular one and ta-da, now it works. Congrats. But as you can see, uh, most of the motions and stuff like that that you would have had with um, one of the other ones is limited, your mouth does work, and stuff like that. Uh, if you want the flexies and things like that to work, you're going to want to optimize your Vroid in uh, Vroid and in Unity, and we'll go over that in another video. But for today, this is good enough. Your avatar is in VR chat, so have fun. So that's how you put your Vroid into VR chat. If this helped you at all, feel free to give me a thumbs up, maybe even subscribe, or even check me out over on Twitch. I stream every weekend evening. So I hope to see you next time in the next video. Bye! Thank you.